In 1965, four young New York University Law School graduates formed a law firm, now famous as Wachtell Lipton, Rosen and Katz. The firm, which is allegedly the style model for John Grisham's The Firm, became famous in merger and acquisition circles when one of the founders, Marty Lipton, invented the poison pill in 1983. Wachtell Lipton belongs in a category of service firms known as problem-solving companies. These include not only law firms, but management consultants, the architects, the engineers, the healthcare services, the certifiers, the analysts, and more. All these professional services are becoming much more efficient using digital tools, global databases, collaboration platforms, etc. Digital technologies, they really augment and in many cases replace professionals. But more often, they enhance the efficiency of global players. In 2011, IBM raised awareness of AI with a computer that beat, at the time, the two most successful players on the TV quiz show, Jeopardy. IBM built a business based on the machine called Watson, which applies very sophisticated information retrieval, natural language processing, and machine learning to answer real-life questions. You can ask the machine questions. They now use it across many different industries, many different companies. For example, IBM developed AI for the legal profession. It uses Watson to reduce the time, the workload, the costs, and thereby free up lawyers to focus on the core legal activities, research, writing briefs, interacting with clients, etc. Clients of problem-solving companies expect to be working with companies that are one step ahead, not two steps behind. So how far can AI go in disrupting professional work? How do we create new insights to stay ahead? And how do we help solve the big problems of today?